You know, a couple times every week, there's some kind of headline about Meghan McCain, either going after the president or defending the president or attacking liberals or defending liberal. Who cares what it is? Meghan McCain, co-host of The View, has no idea who she is, what she's doing, or why she's even there. Meghan McCain, to put it bluntly, is just absolutely the worst kind of person there is. Let's just be 100% on that. Meghan McCain is just awful. She is riding a wave on her father's name. She has no idea how she got there, why she's there, or where she's going, but damn it, she's going to ride it to the very end. And that is the only reason that anybody in this country even knows who she is or how she even has a job in the media. It's because of her last name. But this past week, she went ahead and said something stupid again. She was on Ben Shapiro's show and she made the claim. In fact, I'll just read the direct quote here. Quote, I tell women, conservative men have better family values and they take dating and family and marriage more seriously. You know, these kind of blanket statements that one, you cannot possibly verify in any way. This is not, there's data on this. It's just such a BS line of attack against liberals. And it's disgusting. Let's not forget that 10, 11 years ago, Megan McCain herself was a registered Democrat, hated all things Republican except for her father. And then suddenly, once he started running for president, she was like, oh, I'm a Republican now. Yes, I, I hate all liberal things and conservative men are so much better. She goes on to mention that she dated every dick in West Hollywood, she said in the interview. And then she started dating this wonderful Christian man, conservative guy, co-founder of the Federalist. Uh, what's this idiot's name? Uh, ben Dominich. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Honest to God, I don't care. This is a guy that had been fired from the Washington Post for plagiarism. He had also uh, was forced to apologize for falsely identifying Supreme Court Justice Alana Kagan as a lesbian and was exposed for writing paid propaganda for the Malaysian government. And he's a better family man than any liberal that Meghan McCain has ever met. Doesn't he sound like a good family man? You know, when you come home and you find that he bought you a new car. Oh, how'd you get me this, sweetie? Well, I was writing propaganda for a foreign government. I got fired for plagiarism the other day. Sorry about that. Yeah, real cool family guy, Megan. Great one that you found there. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I am tired of seeing headlines about Megan McCain. You know, Trump says something bad about her daddy and suddenly she hates Trump for about 30 minutes. Then the very next day she's out there defending everything Trump has ever done. Then the next day she's out there mad at him again. She doesn't know who she is, folks. To a degree, I feel sorry for her because I do firmly believe that Meghan McCain has been suffering from a very uh, long identity crisis. I don't think she is truly a conservative. I don't. I don't think she's a liberal by any stretch of the imagination, but she doesn't know who she is. So she just goes out there on the view every single day, says random bull crap, hoping that something sticks hoping that it keeps her name out there in the ether and probably in the back of her mind, praying that her husband doesn't get popped for being a fraud yet again. And she of all people has the audacity to say that conservative men are just so much better than liberal men. She needs help. That is what's happening here. She is delusional and she still has no idea who or what she really wants to be. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.